Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well today I'm checking out the Browning Marl in 308 Winchester. Now this rifle is a straight pull bolt action rifle and it really is something unique to the Australian market. Now let me show you what it comes with. Uh, first of all this is the carry case here and it's quite a uh, touch of class with the carry case. Very well presented. You've even got an area to put your optic in as well and uh, the whole case is lockable. So as you can see the rifle actually takes down into two different um, pieces or parts and uh, you can put it together um, very very quickly as well. Now just to show you up close what it comes with, it comes with an extra spacer so should you want to change the length of pull of the rifle you can do so. There's an extra set of uh, front and rear high vis sights there. You've got the uh, trigger lock with the Browning logo on it. Naturally it comes with a uh, manual and finally this is the Browning takedown tool which is really just an Allen wrench and an Allen key. So how you actually uh, do it is there's an Allen screw just behind the pistol grip part of the, the stock and um, basically that's how you just take the rear of the stock off and put it back together again. So pretty straightforward. Alright, so let's run into a couple of stats while I do a run by of it. First of all, you've got the kick pad here. Now that comes in three varieties, 12, 20 and 25 mil. Okay, and that's got Browning's Inflex 2 technology. So it's just supposed to um, absorb a lot more recoil over a standard recoil pad. Now I haven't shot this rifle yet, so look, I can't uh, comment for or against with that claim. Rear uh, sling mount here. And also the wood you can see there, just a beautiful grade three uh, wood, very high grade and uh, just nice oiled finish to it. You've got the nice uh, checkering on the, the grips of the rifle, even the forend here. The safety is just located right here. It's basically very similar to like a shotgun safety. So obviously forward, ready to fire and uh, move it back and you're on safe. I'll go into the action part in just a moment. Now the uh, forend part here, as I said, just a really nice grip and a, and a feel and finish to it. You've got the high-vis uh, green side. I'll bring that up to the camera a bit more at the rear. And then the red front sight there, which is also high-vis. Now the barrel here is fluted. It's 22 inches in length or 56 centimetres approximately. Okay, and it's actually made by FN. So they guarantee a fair bit of accuracy out of this uh, barrel. So I'm definitely going to put that to the test in this review. Now the actual weight of the rifle is 3.3 kilo or seven and a quarter pounds. So it's not an extremely lightweight rifle, but then again, it's not over the top heavy either. Gets a little bit heavier when you go and put a big scope on the top, which some of you guys are probably thinking, well, <laughs> you know, Aussie, I've never seen you actually put a big scope on a rifle. Because usually uh, most of the rifles I do, I, I like to have, um, you know, six power or, or eight power, nine power at the most. You know, I just like compact, um, lower magnification optics when it comes to hunting. That's just a personal preference. But anyhow, I've got the uh, Trigicon AccuPoint 2.5 10 by 56 uh, scope on this rifle. Now the reason I went with that is um, just because I want to really test out the groups on this rifle. So I want something with a fair bit of magnification to do that. So that's the reason I've done it. The uh, LaRue Tactical here is just a Picatinny um, mount and rings. I just saw it as a, just a solid setup to uh, really test out the accuracy once again. Now the rifle comes with a detachable four-shot magazine so that's really nice too because you've got a little mag assist button on the side there just to help you load the uh, rounds into. Very very uh, nice overall. Everything clips in and just seems to have a really nice um, finish and fit to it. Now, uh, the biggest thing about this is this uh, quick reloading system on the rifle, okay? As I mentioned, it's a straight pull rifle. So the really good thing about it is normally when you're shooting bolt actions, as you know, you've got to pull the bolt up, pull it back, forward and down again. So there's a few different motions, isn't there, to actually reload uh, with a, with a uh, follow-up shot. What's so good about this is you, all you need to do is just simply pull back on the action. And as you can see, obviously, I've got no ammunition, it's all clear, and uh, I safety check all my firearms when I'm doing reviews, naturally. So when we get to this point, normally with a normal bolt action rifle or even another straight pull rifle, you'd still have to push forward to load another round in. Well, with this, you don't. All you need to do is just simply let go of the bolt. 
and look at that it just fires forward and uh, that's just um, spring loaded okay so very very quick follow-up uh, shots with this so once again you're firing you pull back just let go so what's the advantage of that well first of all you've got the uh, uh, the um, bolt it's got seven locking lungs so very very solid okay so any of you who's got any fear of the, the bolt come flying back or anything um, you know from basically the discharge of the cartridge it's not going to happen so we've got quite a bit of safety there but uh, secondly is you can actually keep this rifle up at your shoulder and uh, and hit game on the run without needing to take it away from your shoulder to you know cycle the bolt because all you've really got to do keep it up to your shoulder pull back just let go and then there's your next shot there so I'm very very keen to actually try out this system out in the field and see how it goes so anyhow look that's pretty much um, the rifle guys um, I can't really talk much more about it I haven't shot it as yet so that's why I'm keen to get out on the farm so let's get to it and see what this rifle's made of all right guys so we've got five different types of ammo because out there at 100 yards I've got the target set up and uh, it's a high vis sort of target you know where you see the rounds the impact there so there's five different little targets on the one target so I thought well I'll shoot five different types of ammo so we'll just do four shots of each and see how we go with the group size so first of all we'll start off with the Hornady that's a 168 grain Z max which is a very accurate round I mean it's just basically their A max projectile so really good round. Then we'll move to another top quality round, which is Australian Outback ammo with the 165 grain Sierra Game Kings, a great hunting cartridge. Then for uh, the lighter game, the 130 grain uh, Federal Tactical there, which is uh, loaded with the uh, Spear TNT. Then we'll go to the heavier stuff, the 180 grain Woodley from Winchester. And then just for a bit of fun, we'll go to the Federal uh, Premium Match in 175 grain Sierra match kings so excellent for target shooting there so we'll just run them all through the uh, marrel and just see how it turns out so i've got this bore sighted I'm, I'm hoping i'm going to be pretty much on target there at 100 so uh, we'll just put four shots of each ammo through and just see the uh, groups that i can get
right guys, so let's have a look at the results here. We started off with the uh, Z Max and we're getting quite some uh, nice groups there. But we've obviously spread a little bit. I was expecting a little bit better to be quite honest. But anyhow, we'll measure that. So we got roughly about 1.1 inches around there. So just on the inch. Then when we go up to the actual Australian Outback ammo with the Sierra Game Kings in there, that came in quite nicely. So we've got just under an inch there group, so really good, especially for a hunting round like that. So very happy with that. But then when we go down to the uh, 130 grain TNT <laughs> from Federal, it started spreading a bit. And then the last shot, I mean, I was, I was holding in exactly the same place each time, but it's actually hit the armour plate, as you can see there, and obviously expanded and just torn right through the target. So I can't measure that one, but you can see from the video of how it was shooting. Then we come up to the 180 grain Woodleys from uh, Winchester. Once again, we, we seem to just be having a flyer. Now, I don't know if, whether that's just obviously my shooting with it or because we've got a fair bit of wind today or, or what's going on. But anyhow, I'm holding as still as I can with it and these are the results, so we'll show you exactly how it is. So, you know, if we were up there, it would have been nice under an inch, but from the furthest shots, about 1.1 inches, around there okay then when we come down to the actual 175 grain sierra match kings from federal a bit disappointed there because normally with this round i get quite a, a good result so measuring there i think it'd be about two inches or so yeah just under about 1.8 inches so definitely uh, a bit disappointed with that there but look that's not so much the round guys because you know look at the reviews i do and you see different ammunition with different results through different rifles. So you've just got to find the ammunition that suits your rifle. So I think with this one, my favourite would be the Australian Outback Ammo. So let's load some of that up and have some fun. So let's uh, show you how quick this uh, Browning Marrell is with the fast follow-up shots. So I've got four rounds obviously in the mag and I'll just show you how quick it is to cycle the action on this. So, I mean, look how quick that was. And I mean, as you see, I can hold it up to the shoulder there and still cycle that uh, action, that straight pull bolt. So, yeah, that's really cool. Alright guys, as I always do, I'll wrap up with my final thoughts on the Browning Marrell. Now this rifle is just very different, isn't it? I mean, very unique in its design, and you can have those fast follow-up shots as I demonstrated in this review. So for hunting, I mean, yeah, great little recreational rifle for that purpose. When you actually hold it, the one thing I've noticed with it, you bring it up to the shoulder and it feels a little bit like an under and over shotgun, and what I mean by that is it's just very thin in the, the fore end here, but, but still deep. So yeah, to me it just sort of feels a little bit like an under and over shotgun if that makes sense. But anyhow, that's only my own personal take on it. If you do want to get uh, one of these Brownings, look, go in and see the guys at Queensland Gun Exchange. Uh, they looked after me and got me this one for two and a half thousand. Okay, and they've got other calibers and so forth there, but thanks to them for organising the quick transaction and smooth transaction on getting one of these. Alright guys, well look, we'll finish up the review. Thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you next time.